Hey guys, um, this is a video on adjusting your brake controller for the trailer you, that you've got. Um, I see a lot of guys that'll tow and they won't really mess with their brake controller at all. And, um, you know, particularly guys that have flatbed trailers or cargo trailers, uh, they may not mess with it. And here's the problem you run into. Um, this brake controller is really cool. It's got um, a digital uh, readout so that when you adjust the power you see what you're actually getting All right so what I know is the trailer I have behind me right now I typically tow right around I don't know 6.5 to 7 volts and when it's empty that's perfect um, if I if I'm towing and I've got uh, a load in that trailer I know I need to ramp it up and this is just the way I do it um, you know it, you know, you guys are responsible for your own trailers. Don't ever um, take someone's advice blindly. But what I do is I drive around with it and I find out at what point under normal stopping conditions does the trailer brake start to skid. And when it skids, then I back the voltage down, okay? Um, let's say it skids at 8, okay? What I'll do is I'll back it down to about 6.5. Okay, so it's still going to provide good power and stopping, but it's also um, not going to be overkill and skid my tires all the time. Um, now, if you have one of these and you've got a digital readout, but it doesn't read out your actual voltage set, what you can do is you can apply the brakes like this. Okay, you've got your brake application. And when you apply those brakes, you can see it tells you your voltage. Okay. So my 6.8 will read, okay, let's do the okay. My 6.8 will read 6.7 or 6.8 when I pull the trailer brake, right? So that's how you can tell how many volts you're sending. Now, if you want higher, you bump it up. And as you can see, when you apply, it goes to 7.1 or 7.2. So. You know, this is the Prodigy 3. I, I really like it. I've done a review on it. Um, but if you've got another Prodigy or you've got something that has the voltage, um, that's a good way to figure out how many volts you're going. And it's a good way to figure out, okay, what do I usually need to set it at? So if you've got a, a, a dial instead of a digital up and down, you activate the trailer brake and then you dial it up or down to the voltage you need. Now, it should go without saying that you don't do that while you're driving down the road. If you apply this, you're locking the brake full and you're stopping. <laughs> so um, do this while you're sitting in the car um, or uh, when you're not moving. That's a real important thing. But this little trick of, of pulling this lever to figure out how many volts you want, um, that's handy because, you know, when you're towing, typically you're towing the same trailer over and over. So you'll know, hey, when I'm loaded, you know, say I'm at 5.8, and when I'm, um, or when I'm empty, I'm at 5.8, and when I'm loaded, I'm at 9 or 12, or depending on how big of a load you've got in there. So that's how I tell. Um, you don't want the trailer brakes to be skidding on you all the time. It gets real embarrassing when you come up to a stoplight and everyone hears this when you come up to a stoplight. That's not very fun. Um, so that's how you avoid this. If you if you have a trailer brake and you are uh, just leaving it alone, well, you're going to have one of two things happen. When you load it down, you're either not going to have enough brakes, or if you have it set up for when it's loaded down, when you don't have anything loaded down, you're not going to have enough stopping power, and you're going to be putting more um, pressure on your truck's brakes. So that's my tips on that. Um, you know, and another important thing uh, that I touched on in another video, but um, for your brakes to perform right, you need to have your trailer properly leveled when you're going down the road. If your trailer is up like this or down like this, the, the tire that's a little bit higher, if you've got a dual or triple axle trailer, the tires that are up a little higher will skid while all of the pressure is being put on the wheels that have the most weight. So it kind of imbalances things. So you want to make sure that your trailer is pretty level and um, you want the front of the trailer um, to be roughly one to two inches higher than the rear. That's a properly leveled trailer. So, anyway, guys, um, that's my video, and uh, you know, be safe out there, and uh, 
this stuff will hopefully help you out when it comes to setting up your trailer brakes. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.